Our final track athlete in 44's top 44 female countdown takes us back to Mercer County, and the lone Coldwater Cavalier to make this list. All by herself among the Cavs greats is fitting because in distance races and cross country, she was usually also all by herself well ahead of the second place finisher. <laughs> Sarah Caney, Coldwater, class of 2015, cross country and track. Four times a state champion, twice in cross country, twice in track. A dominating distance runner. Four times first team all MAC in cross country, four times first team all MAC in track. Also played basketball, earning all MAC honors four times. I can remember talking to coaching staff over the years and they always were amazed how much you know, she knew she had to work harder, and they, they talked about how she worked harder and harder every year, knowing that she had to, to really to get that next level. She couldn't lay back and, and take it easy. So, yeah, she, the thing about girls distance runners, and she proved that point, too, you can overcome the physical changes girls go through because she, you know, she matured, and, and as she got older, she got stronger. And you look at her times, yeah, she didn't set no state record in her times, but she was so consistent. And, and like I say, even when she got beat early on in her career, she was still right there with them, um, and then next year she improved more, uh, which shows a lot about her work ethic and, and what she was uh, you know, able to do. When you think of the Midwest Athletic Conference, track and field or cross country, you think of dynasties. Sam Prakel comes to mind, Tammy Berger of Versailles, and of course Sarah Kenny from Coldwater. When she burst on the scene as a freshman, she overtook Tammy Berger, who pretty much ran, ran and won every race that she ran in. Uh, during her career at Versailles until Sarah came along. But I just loved her, her demeanor. As she was running, she was just so focused, straight faced. And when she finished, whether it was a cross country race or a track and field race, she had time to run more. She was just ready to go. I mean, she was a born runner. She came from a running family. Her older sister, Jill, was an excellent runner, went on to Ohio State. Her, her dad was kind of like her coach, was always there stretching her out, getting her ready for whatever meet it was. Running was a family affair, and Sarah did it so well uh, with such a great attitude. When you go to a cross country or a track meet and you watch the distance races, usually I'm by the finish line with my camera and girls are just collapsing when they get to the finish line and, and falling over and keeling down. And that was not Sarah at all. When she was done with the distance race, whether it was the 1600, the 3200, or in cross country, she might put her hands on her hips, but that was it. She looked fresh, ready to go another mile or two mile if she needed it. And that was just a testament to her training. She was so well prepared and just a dominant runner on the track and in cross country when it comes to distance. What is so impressive about the better track and field and, and cross country athletes is their abilities to know how much their body can take. And Sarah Caney had a tremendous understanding of what the requirements were. She was a state champion that day, as I recall, just incredibly bad weather conditions. But she also had that inner strength that really served her well, not just as a distance runner, but as a tremendous basketball player. Again, an athlete that could adapt in team situations along with that individual prowess. And she did it over the whole four, four years of high school. And if you can stick with it like she did, to me is, is a high tribute as an individual. Very, you know, very, I want to say this very kind of a confident runner. I mean, I, I can remember when they, you know, track in it, going from division three to division two, and that was, you know, you go from Division three to Division two in track, the 1600 becomes even more competitive. Um, and I even saw her step up that next level and compete with the best of them. And the one thing I always remember about Sarah was she took defeat well and she learned from it. I can remember her getting beat one year across the country down state. And I can remember her telling me that she's going to come back. And, and she came back next year and won their state title, which, you know, she's a true competitor. And she had a true love for distance running. So I, to Sarah, I just remember somebody who was always confident. You know, the, the couple times, it wasn't very often she got beat. When she did get beat, she used that as a learning tool and, uh, you know, finished out her high school career really strong here at Full Water. After beginning her collegiate running career at North Carolina State, Caney is transferring to Ohio State for the upcoming year. Sarah Caney, number four on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes. Through her sophomore to senior seasons, Caney won 27 of 29 cross-country races, including 16 straight first-place finishes.